guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl destiny love and i'm back in the cup with another video it's real if you guys see me looking down it's because i have my notes i've written them down so that is why i'm looking down but hey y'all this is your girl destiny love and i'm back in the cup with another video thank you guys so much for 670 subscribers I love all 670 of you guys, and I appreciate all the love and support. The new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much. And to my original supporters that have been with me from day one, I appreciate you guys, and I love you guys so much. Keep supporting, keep watching, keep sharing the videos, and keep liking. So without further ado, do not forget to smash those like buttons, comment down below, and subscribe help your girls to get to a thousand subscribers guys come on now i've been trying so long to get to a thousand subscribers but five things you should know before renting a car in puerto rico the number one thing you should know before renting a car is making sure you have a designated driver meaning if it's a group trip where it's more than one of you guys or it's not a couple, it's more than three people, make sure to always have a designated driver because you're going to want that one person that you can actually trust to drive outside of the country or, or that person, you just trust that person to drive because they're not always drinking, they are not a reckless or careless driver they pay attention to signs and stoplights and you know stuff like that so that's the number one thing you should know before renting a car in Puerto Rico make sure you have a designated driver if you know you're not the friend to go on vacation and be driving don't do it get your uber if you know you're gonna be drinking and wilding out don't do it get your uber or you have that one person that's responsible that's what i'm saying that's the number one thing you should know before renting a car in puerto rico the number two thing before renting a car in puerto rico is if you are just a couple make sure he or she drives carefully listen again that's not number two that is just example two for number one thing you should know before driving, before renting a car in Puerto Rico. If it's not more than three of you guys or it's four and five and more of you guys, like it's a group trip, make sure you have a designated driver. If it's a couple's trip, make sure one of either person is responsible enough and a careful driver and they pay attention or that one person that is gonna drive make sure he's not drinking and driving that's number that's the example for number one also let's put this in there most road signs or in spanish like this picture right here okay number two example if there is not a lot of stoplights in Puerto Rico. So again, there is not a lot of stoplights in Puerto Rico. Sorry, my camera. There is not a lot of stoplights in Puerto Rico. So you have to drive careful. You have to drive carefully because there is not a lot of stoplights in Puerto Rico. This is my paper that I've written down my notes. Also, not every intersection in Puerto Rico got a stoplight. So that's another thing. They just drive, and, and at midnight, you can drive through the stoplights after coming to a complete stop and then proceed with caution. The example, 
also let me see at night they don't got a lot of street lights at night they do not have a lot of street lights in puerto rico so you have to be careful when driving that these are just examples for number one thing you should know before renting a car in puerto rico now i'm going to move on to number two reason you should know before renting a car in puerto rico is you need to decide if you really need a car reason being it is cheaper to get an uber it is cheap to get an uber also the uber is there you can go to the store and ask them to wait for you and you pay them cash instead of on the uber app so again you can go to the store you can book an uber to the store to the walmart to wherever you want to go to the pharmacy and you can ask that uber driver to wait for you they will wait for you and you can give them a tip depending on how long they wait for you when we was there we went to walmart we was in walmart for almost two hours or, or so and the driver did wait for us and we gave him a tip it's not in the uber app we did not tip him on the uber app and you do not have to go on the uber app to tell them to request a wait or an extra stop or anything like that you can just ask the uber driver depending on your uber driver most of them are nice they'll say yes or they'll say no so if you rent a car you will have parking problems again if you rent a car in san juan you will have parking problems if you're not if you if you're going to the beach if you're going to a party if you're going just anywhere and you rent a car you're gonna have problem finding parking in san juan old san juan you're gonna have problem finding parking basically most of the places you go you're gonna have problem finding parking that's the example for number two if you're going outside of san juan it is okay to rent a car because you might you, you it's it's easier to rent a car if you're staying outside of san juan or if you're going somewhere outside of san juan because in san juan it's like the tourist attraction area i could say because most people hear about san juan that's where everybody goes when they hear about puerto rico san juan that's where most people go so you will definitely have problem with the parking outside of old san juan if you want to go like to the falls outside of san juan yes it is necessary you can rent a vehicle but if you're not going like outside outside of san juan and other far places out it's not necessary you can get an uber uber is very cheap there very cheap and the ubers we had all the uber experience that we had it was good except for one driver but i'll give that story another time but all the other ubers that we've gotten they was good they was helpful so yeah so number three things for you to know before renting a car in old san juan but before i move to number three if you even um go if you're even going outside of old san juan and you're not staying inside of san juan more unlikely more than likely you can get a taxi you can get a taxi if you get a taxi trust me it's still gonna be cheaper than renting a car because you can pay for the taxi and you can ask them to wait for you or to pick you back up yeah period they're cool well based off my experience most people in 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 puerto rico is cool they're very friendly and nice okay so let's move on to number three things you should know before renting a car in puerto rico 
there is gonna be good roads and bad roads so if you live in america you know most of the roads in america based on where you live you have a lot of highways and three-way streets and cars be going four different yeah you don't have that in puerto rico baby the roads are smaller there's gonna be potholes there's gonna be holes with water if it rains it's just a lot of things to take into consideration so you're gonna have good roads and you're gonna have bad roads so your rides will be a little bumpy sometimes but especially in the like the smaller towns or communities yeah you're gonna have those bad roads if not again you'll be all right it's not america where you have the broad roads and the all of that extra space you can do a lot of extra stuff with the road yeah no you don't have that so let's move on to number four your gps number four is your gps your gps will give you direction in miles for america so whenever you go to puerto rico just know when you put like a when you put an address in your gps it will give you it will give you miles for america not for puerto rico okay always remember and and put make sure you put puerto rico puerto rico if you just put in the address or your location, you might never find where you're going. Just make sure say, make sure whatever address you put in, you put Puerto Rico. Also, some address cannot be found on the GPS. We had that problem we, when we was there. Some of the address, you will not find them on the GPS. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how many times you retype it, you will not find it on the GPS. So some address and some house number or whatever it is that you put in, you may not be able to find it on your GPS. We had that problem when we had just gotten to the, to the airport. We could not find our address for the house, the Airbnb house that we were staying. So that's another thing. The GPS is going to give you in miles which is by america time number two some of the address you will not find on the gps so if you're for example you went out one night and you're at a location it's good to look on the building or wherever you are for the name of the store the name of the restaurant the name of whatever you are at and put it in the gps look it up get the ex exact address and put it in the GPS. Because if you just put put it, my location, it may never come up in the GPS. That's number four. It will definitely comes up different. And the last and final one is Puerto Rico does not have a lift. They don't use lift. They only use Uber. Puerto, again, Puerto Rico does not use Lyft. They only use Uber. So before you even go on your trip and you want drive or you know you're not going to rent a car, make sure to download the Uber app. We did not know that they do not use Lyft in Puerto Rico. They only use Uber. And we had that problem when we got there. Everybody had Lyft. Lyft wasn't able to be, we wasn't able to use Lyft in Puerto Rico. We had to download Uber right away. So that was another problem. That's number five, the last and final one. That's it, guys. That's basically it. Number one, make sure you have a designated driver safe person someone who's careful pay attention to stoplights all of that 
decide if you really need a car. That's number two. Because Uber is cheaper. Number four is there is going to be good roads and bad roads. Depending on where you're staying. Where you're staying. If you're staying in the suburb or rural area, it might not, the roads might not be so bad. But like, it depends on where you're staying. Like if you're staying in a house in the little communities, you're going to find bad roads with potholes and all of that shit. So make sure. And then number four was the GPS. The GPS is not always going to have the address that you want. And the last and final one was Puerto Ricans do not use Lyft. They only use Uber. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I explain a lot. And that is the five things you should know before renting a car in Puerto Rico. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like this video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. This is your girl, Destiny Love. Peace. I'm out. I hope this little thing that I put together really helped a lot. I had, jot, I had just jot some things down on a piece of paper based on what I could remember. I'll be coming with more videos based on my experience in Puerto Rico. Everybody have different experiences. So if you've been to Puerto Rico and that wasn't your experience, that's good. If you're going to Puerto Rico and you need any questions or anything, you can come leave your comment and I'll try to answer as best as possible. The house that we rent, we got at Puerto Rico, it was, it was amazing. I would definitely go back there anytime, any minute if I'm ever going to Puerto Rico. It was in a gated community. It was very safe. They asked information at the gate before you could even enter, else they are not letting you in. It was strict, very strict, the gated community that I, that we stayed at. They, You have to give your name, your house number, what's your reason for visiting, all of that stuff. Even with the Uber driver, they always got to call us. What's the name? What's the house number? All of that. So we was 100% safe. And we had a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for more Puerto Rico videos. Thank you. Bye. Peace. I'm out.